What do I mean by tolerance isn't fit? So everything is a little bit off, no matter how accurate you are when you're making something. There's going to be some misalignment of tooling and measurements. So tolerance is how much pieces can be misaligned and still fit together. So if I go ahead and I inspect and I do something called a section plane, so it's called section analysis in Fusion, I'll click this plane, then I'll drag this arrow over. And if I orbit around to the other side, you'll see that I have a section. And I'm going to press OK. And if I look at this section very tightly and I look exactly in this perspective view from the back, notice that there's no clearance here. That means that for these two parts to fit together, they have to be perfectly the same size. So that's just not going to happen. So we need to add some gap or tolerance or space so that they fit together. We can do that actually in the model or we can do that in the manufacturer workspace. I'm going to show you how to do it both ways. And this is personal preference and based on the machining that you're doing. Just FYI, you can turn off this analysis by clicking the eyeball up at the top left in your browser. So you don't have to reset it. So if I want to look at it again, I can just click the eyeball on analysis. So it's very convenient. So let's talk about how to add tolerance to the model. So we have to think about it. Do we want this piece here to be bigger or do we want this piece here to be smaller? Generally, since this is going to be the nominal size of the plywood, we probably want to make this piece have just a slightly bigger hole. I think that's easier to be done in the manufacturer workspace. Let's say for some reason you didn't want to do that. So on this left hand side, this pink one, we're going to do it to the model. And then over on this blue one, we'll do it in the manufacturer workspace. So I'm going to activate the side component right here. And just so we aren't confused, I'm going to hide these other pieces. So there's two ways to do that. I could literally just press and pull these and edit them. So if you go here into modify and you see press pull, so I could click each of these faces and then I could type negative tolerance. And I've already set up the tolerance. So if I cancel this out, you'll see in the modify change parameters, I have a tolerance setting of 0.1 millimeters. So if I go modify and I do press pull and I click this face and I go negative tolerance, I'm going to go down negative tolerance and I can also select multiple faces. So if I select all these faces at the same time, now if I press negative tolerance and then I press OK, all those have moved my tolerance. And since it's a user parameter, I can adjust that based on how my machine is working. I'm going to bring these other pieces back and then I'm going to go to the top layer here. And you'll notice that that offset faces is inside the timeline. So it's an editable feature. I'm going to turn the analysis back on and then I'm going to look at the back view. And now if I zoom in here, you're going to notice that there's this tiny little space, right? So now we this is going to be just a little bit bigger. So hopefully we have enough space for glue and for our piece fitting in. So this is a really easy way right at the end to add tolerances. And then you can see exactly how that's going to be in your model. So great way to do that. I'm going to turn off the analysis. Now let's see how we could do this in the manufacturer workspace. So I'm going to go up to the design, then manufacture. And then in the manufacturer workspace, I'm going to click setup. I'm going to create a manufacturing model. This creates a copy of my model, so I don't have to edit my original model. And then if I right click edit manufacturing model, I can go ahead and draw a sketch for my plywood. So I'll create a sketch on the ground plane and I'm going to use a four by eight sheet of plywood. So I'll type R and I'll type eight foot tab or foot enter. And there's my eight foot piece of plywood. And then I'll go ahead and make this coincident right here. And I'll give it a dimension from the origin. So it's all locked down of 550. So now everything is finished there. And I can go to the modify and use the arrange command. The arrange asks for two things. It asks for the object. So I want all of these objects. I'll just select them all. And then it asks for the envelope. And I'll click this envelope. Then I can press OK. So now I have my two pieces. One of them is bigger than the other. And so if you uh, forget which one is which, you can just go back one step. And as you can see, this darker one is the one that I edited. So now I'll jump forward in time. So what I need to do is make this green one 
work differently. And so to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the edit of the manufacturing model. And it's laid down flat over here. And I'm gonna create a new setup. So I'll create my new setup. And I won't go through all the processes of making the setup work exactly, but I do need to move the stock box point uh, over to the right right here. And then I need to choose my orientation. So I'm gonna select the Z axis and then a plane. And then I want to get the box point. It's gonna be right there. So now this is for my particular machine. That's how that would be set up. And then in the stock, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on relative for right now. And then I'm gonna press okay. And we say, Yes, just to ignore the warnings for right now, because we're not actually cutting this out. I just want to show you how you can add in these tolerances. So we're just we're not going to worry about all the exterior cuts, and we actually need more spacing for this to work on a real machine. But we just want to do a 2D. We're going to do a 2D pocket, and we're going to select our tool, and it will be this flat end mill bit that we're using for CNC. And then the geometry, we're just going to select this one pocket cut here. And then we're going to go to our passes. And most of this I'm going to leave as default because we're not actually cutting this out. I'm only talking about tolerances now. So what I'm going to go is on this stock to leave. So radial stock to leave is the sides, so the left to right. And axial stock to leave is the up and down. If you forget which one is which, just hover. And Fusion will give you a nice tool tip. So what I want to do is go negative stock to leave and do negative tolerance. And so now it's on both of those right there. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing here just so it's definitely the same. And then I can press OK. So that's actually going to cut this exactly like that, except it's going to go over a little bit. And you can see that right here. You can see that it's actually cutting into the actual model, which is what we want. We want it to be a little bit bigger than the real size. So this has an advantage over the previous method is because you're never modifying the model file, right? Because you're just modifying the manufacturer model. So you could also do the press pull in the manufacturing model, uh, but this way you just leave the model in nominal dimensions. Nominal dimensions means just the size it would be in a perfect world. And then I can modify my tool paths. We'll cover this in more depth in future videos when we set up an entire CNC toolpath, but this is one way to add tolerances so your parts fit together better. Happy 3D modeling.